Hi and welcome to another video from myself, Christopher, at DBG. So this is sort of going on from our terrain that we're just going through, our MDF kits um, that I bought all online. So my next kit that I'm building is a Sci-Fi Gothic Corner Ruins A. So far I've been really impressed with it all. This one is slightly different because it adds a little bit of decoration going on the sides. Um, it's a little bit bigger add sides to it as well to add a little bit more 3D to it. It's still one of those things that still will look slightly flat so I'm still thinking I'll probably have to rough coat it um, like all the others but time will tell let's see what it's like when it's actually fully built. Again for instructions on how to build this um, I just go over to TT Combat Let's see what it's like directly. Mm -hmm. right, so this is the first one I've ever built with any decorations on. They're very, very thin card. Uh, it's got some masking tape on the back for some reason. I don't know why. But again, I'll still be washing this with that cloth because I know how it's been treated. Got some a little bit of scattered terrain in there as well from these two bits looking onto there. The squares look a lot more detailed than the other sets that I've bought. Got some crates, quite nice to have some little crates, little scatter bits. And these look a lot more detailed. You can tell from the early packs they're a little bit cheaper. This one is a little bit more expensive, but for what it is, already looks really good. It's two buildings, okay, and it cost me less than £12, so I can't really argue with that. So what I'll do is I'll build it, and then we'll have a look at it, what it actually looks like at the end. If I come up with any sticky bits, then I'll show you where my progress is as well. Hope you enjoy. Right, so these are the both of them put together. They're still not finished. I've still got to add the extra cardboard. But what is really nice touches about them is the pack comes with two scatter terrain, the four boxes, two I've just done as one open, and a barrel, but it does miss the end of the barrels, not in the sprue for some reason, but it still works as a piece of scatter. And they're quite well detailed. I do like them. My only concern is these bits. Now I find with things like this, when you're storing them, they tend to just break off, and equally, there is no base to these, unlike the sector set that I got. Now, I really prefer if there was a base. Now, I understand that these are flat. They don't stack like the other bits of the Gothic set. But I will stick them on a base. Um, purely because these bits will just break off because there's no support underneath. And there's only support from into the structure already I mean they're okay I do like them and they, they're less than a tenner for the set so for five pounds each you can't really moan that too much about it um, the only thing is I, I tend to like all my scenery with a base um, especially for buildings even if you're just painting them up as grey rubble so they can fit pretty much with any board or gaming mat you've got it's just the fact that they need a base just to add some stability what I'm going to do is let these fully dry for a night um, just because I want these bees really 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 in contact before I do anything else and then I'll add all the other little touches like the car little bits of um, decorations which I do think will probably need super glue um, because they look like they bend quite quite a lot um, so therefore PVA glue just won't do it um, but we'll get on to that another day apart from that, that's me out for now when I return, you see what it's like with we'll all the decorations on as well hi guys, so this is all the decorations now on You see, it adds a little bit of texture. It'll be interesting to know what it comes out with when I actually rough coat it. Um, I will rough coat it lightly, just because the decorations on here 
They're really nice. Two gothic buildings, tenor, two bits of scatter, four crates, and a barrel thing. Very good value. You can see from above, really well detailed on the stands as well. Yeah, it doesn't come with a base, but to be honest, you don't need a base for it. I generally prefer things with a base, just to add it blending into the board a little bit. But if you want generic scenery to be able to go with any board, then obviously not having a base is really good. Hey guys, hope you really like this little tutorial and review of these gothic buildings. So like I say, it's a sci-fi gothic corner ruin A set. Um, I'm going to build the other one and that'll be another video coming up soon. I'd be interested to know what you guys think. Um, I've done this over a couple of days and today um just come back from friends at a birthday party for their child so it was really nice and my friend is one of the co-founder of luma industry designs which you're probably thinking why is this relevant to 40k but his company actually made the power fist the one that operates for dawn of war 3 so i'm constantly in awe and i've seen that trailer hundreds and hundreds of times but um, with everything going on and pretty much now Dawn of War 3 is a bit dead and um, be interesting to know what your thoughts are on the online gaming side of 40k myself I still like the game prefer Dawn of War 1 Dawn of War 2 was okay um, but didn't have enough mods compared to what Dawn of War could have be interested to know what you guys think but I'll put a link to his company as well it's really interesting to have a look at um, and if you're ever in want to get into design maybe then from from a message um or if you want to design stuff from a message as well they're constantly looking for sort of things like that so but that's sort of gothic buildings i've really enjoyed these really quick to build um the only criticism um is these corner pieces here they come as one strip um and the problem with that is i just couldn't quite bend it to go round perfectly so I ended up cutting it in half and then putting it together. It seems to work. Um all the little defects and things like that where I've trimmed a little bit away of the decorations will just be just cover up when I paint it anyway, so I'm not really that fussed. But for a ten pounds, a brilliant set. So that's all for today for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, comment um let me know what you think of the online gaming side which would be interesting let me know about what terrain you're working on as well um and any mdf kits you're working on other than that wherever you are in the world make it a good one happy hobbying